Good morning, church. As we continue in our big screen series, I have an old one for you guys. Uh, 1963 animated movie, The Sword in the Stone. Uh, my wife and I have four little kids. Uh, our oldest is seven. And so we're always looking for something where we can do a movie night together as a family. And this one, my kids had such a blast with, they uh, laughed hysterically basically the entire way through. But uh, we pick up the story with Wart, or gonna be King Arthur. Uh, he's helping his, his foster brother, Sir Kay, hunt. And he falls into his foster brother. They let go of an arrow, it goes into the woods, and then Sir Kay is mad. And so he chases Arthur into the woods. Um, in the woods is the wolf. It's thorns and briars and all these things. Uh, and it's a, it's a dark and scary place. Well, how many times do we as Christians find ourselves in a dark and scary place where we may not know how we got there or how to get out of it? Um, you know, I remind my kids on a regular basis that we as humans do not learn as well from success as we do from failure. And when we're in a storm, a lot of times we're thinking, have I sinned or, uh, or get away from me, devil? Um, and, and those are good questions to ask. We should ask those. But it also, there's a third option. It may just be that the Lord has you in a dark and scary place to teach you something. Maybe it's further reliance on Him. Maybe it's um, a hard lesson that you need to learn. Um, and I, I would just encourage you as believers when you're in those hard situations, would you open up your hands and just pray, Lord, what are you trying to show me in this situation? Um, as we pick our story back up, Arthur is definitely in one of those hard situations. He's made to wash the dishes and quite a few other hard things. And Merlin is trying to teach him along the way. And of course, Arthur's sights are set pretty low. He only wants to be a squire. Um, he wants to be a squire for Sir Kay. Merlin gets frustrated about it, but you know, the cool thing about it is no matter our scenario and, and picking up scripture in Jeremiah 29, 11, it says, for I know the plans that I have for you declares the Lord plans to prosper you and not harm you plans to give you hope and a future. Isn't that where we find ourselves? Like the Lord has our story in his hands. He's doing something inside of us continually. Um, towards the end of the story, Arthur forgets Kay's sword in a tournament. The winner of the tournament will be the king of England. And Kay gets mad at him, so Arthur runs back to the inn that they're staying at. And the inn is locked because everyone's at the tournament. Tries to get the sword, panics, looks around, and sees the sword in the anvil runs over and tries to grab the sword and it comes out of the anvil. Um, runs back to Kay, hands him the sword. Kay says, this is not my sword. And Kay's father looks at the sword, realizes it's the sword in the stone. And fast forward just a little bit and Arthur has gone from nobody to the king of England. Um, church, this is this is what we have to look forward to in Christ. If we have accepted Jesus as our Lord and Savior, uh, in Romans 8, 16 and 17, it states, The Spirit himself testifies with our spirit that we are God's children. And if we are children, then we're heirs, heirs of God and co-heirs with Christ. If, ne if indeed we suffer with him so that we also be glorified with him we may also be glorified with him, excuse me. So I'll leave you with a couple thoughts. One to the parents, are you teaching your kids the word as you go? Um, as Matthew 7, or excuse me, as Matthew 10, 7 instruct us to do. And a challenge specifically to the dads, and I'm gonna lean in here. Um, I just want you to hear from me. This is a challenge to me as much as it is to you. Because even last night, I realized that my kids had become a task on my to-do list to get them to bed. And as I was reading this morning, I was reminded when Jesus is talking to the disciples and he says, bring the little children unto me. 
And so as a dad, I'm challenging you and myself to put down your work, put down your phone, and be present with your children because they are the most important thing as we raise our children up in the fear and admonition of the Lord. Um, so church, we love you. We're so thankful for you. And y'all have a great day.